this video we are going to create this motion banner because i posted a poll in my youtube channel community tab so a lot of people tagged that we want a motion banner tutorial so here we are and the motion banner we will create by a psd file which is already i designed the template so just we have to animate that in after effects you can download that psd file link in the description below but if you are going to download that make sure you are helping this youtube channel by clicking on the red button subscribe channel this video will be divided into two parts so this is the first part and make sure you are watching the second part also so what we are waiting for let's open photoshop because we have to see the psd file first of all so guys here we are in photoshop and i already designed the elements which we have to animate in after effects so here we have the image we have this round shape white this text and these elements now here you can see i have six artboards i have created my files as a artboard uh, which will help me in the after effects so how to create artboards so just i'll show you go to file and click on new and here you need to choose your size so i'll choose 1080 by 1080 and make sure you are click on this artboard so if you click if you check on this box so it will create artboard so if we click create so here we have only one artboard if you go to move tool and hold your mouse click on that uh, move tool and click on this artboard and here you will see plus symbol so if you click on that you will get a duplicate artboard multiple times you will get extra artboards so like this we can create an artboard and this uh, only same design i have applied on the other artboards so i have just replaced the elements so in the one artboard there is a shape on the top side and this artboard 2 the shape is now in downside now it's time to move this file into after effects so how to do that so here we have after effects so we'll create a new project now here we can drop our file so just go to photoshop file and click on this export and this one artboards to files click on that now here you need to choose the location i already choose here and then just click on this run make sure it's psd here then click on this run now if it will take some time like this so our file is saved successfully now let's import our latest one so here we have the artboards like this on the same location you will find artboard 1 artboard 2 so like we can select all the artboards so i have selected all the psd files so we have only six artboards so we have six files click on this footage composition retain layer sizes now click on import then we will get this file like this now we just have to open swiggy artboard one double click on that now here we have the size now if you want to hide these rulers so press ctrl and this button so just double click on this artboard again and here we have the psd file then first of all we will animate our white shape so press p click on that button so we will get the keyframe just put it here and move it here like that now select both the keys and hit f9 and go to this graph right click make sure you have clicked on this edit speed graph select these keys and just move it like this so this is very slow so we can just decrease the space between these keyframes like this like this we can do now it's time to animate this product so press s click on this stopwatch icon make sure you are on the first frame click on this stopwatch icon and move it here make it zero and come forward now select this keyframe ctrl c 
and come backward press ctrl v now give here 120 or 110 yeah this is fine now select all the keyframes and hit f9 go to graph editor and make it like this now if you play this is very slow so you can just decrease the space yeah like this now just move these keyframes like here yeah like this fine then a gentle reminder you have to save your this after effects file so just go to file and click on this save then choose your location all right fine then we will move to this symbol so select this shape press r for rotation then click on this stopwatch icon by holding alt on your keyboard then you need to give your vehicle now select this shape then we need to give only rotation so click on this rotation it's to watch icon simple then come to last um, like come to 30 second and give you one so it will very slow so you can just increase the value to five yeah now it's fine perfect now same animation we have to give here so just i fast my video so yeah like this i have done i will need to give a animation in the text so just select the text layer and go to effects and type here character now come to this animating open this properties and click on this stretch in each word and move it to this layer so here we can't give the effect because this is the photoshop psd file we can't edit this text because this is the photo so what we have to do just go to photoshop and copy this text press ctrl c then come to after effects and paste it here and then the size should be same so 96 i guess yeah 96 is perfect so we can delete the psd text then we can apply the effect press u to see the keyframes and just take a perfect time for animation yeah this is perfect now we need to give a simple line effect so just create a line by pen tool fill we can close the fill and we need to give a stroke now go to this add point and click on this repeater now click on that copies we can give 10 and just play with these settings i don't know the perfect setting just change these a bit i think this is fine so just press s and scale it down and move it here like this and move this image below the product image so i don't know where is that but i'll keep it here or up maybe up more a little bit yeah yeah this is fine perfect place so we can just rotate it a bit like that yeah perfect yeah that's nice now we have to duplicate this so just press ctrl d and move it here select this rotation tool and just rotate it like this 
and press move tool and move it here like that now we need to give a text anime or uh, sorry animation for these lines so how to do that just go to add point and click on this trim paths now click on that properties click on this both the stopwatch icons so come forward and like here it will effect like this so just you can move this point here till here now make it zero so what i have done here a start option will be like first till here then from here this and properties will start and then it will like animate like this press f9 and move it a bit here like this yeah perfect so just press ctrl c come to duplicate shape and then press ctrl v press u to hide these keyframes so let's see our animation so the line effect will be start from here so just we can move the keyframes like this here yeah like this now we need to give a little animation to this product image so go to this layer press p click on this store watch icon give here wiggle to 10 yeah like that perfect that's nice so here we have done the one artboard now we will be copying the animation from this artboard how to do that just open the artboard too now here we need to replace this text so just go to photoshop and copy this text type here paste it here and just mm, make it 96 put it here and now we can delete the PSD text then go to effect we can just apply manually drag and drop here yeah perfect and then move it here press F9 now we have to animate this shape press P click on this stopwatch icon and move it here put it down like this hit F9 go to here and do graph like this yeah perfect we can speed up a little bit oh a little more yeah perfect yeah so here like that and one more thing go to artboard one so here we need to give a reverse animation so just like that uh, till four seconds now we need to hide we need to like reverse the animation to hide these elements for the next animation so just select this keyframe press p click on this to watch icon and move it here like that press f9 like this it will move so we can speed up a little bit yeah go to graph editor and move it like this oh this is too fast yeah perfect now we need to animate this one also so press u copy this keyframe ctrl c and ctrl v press ctrl c and ctrl v now just match the time mm, 
maybe like this yeah i think we have given the wrong speed so just hit hit f9 and make it like this yeah that's fine something like this yeah perfect then this text press p for position click on the stopwatch icon come forward and move it down hit f9 yeah that is fine go to graph editor and do like this yes perfect now we have this animation now from here we will start artboard 2 animation so go to artboard 2 now what we given here just this animation so just we can copy the pop-up animation from this image so press s and just control c select this and paste it here press u and match the time like this and one more thing guys we have to rotate this product image so press r just click on this stopwatch icon and come forward till add seconds and give here 0.5 if you play so it will be rotating like this just like that we need perfect all the so this artboard one animation is done okay guys that's all for the first part and rest of all we will continue in the second part i hope you are enjoying this video so i'll meet you in the second part and also guys please support this channel like this video also share with your friends who love to watch these kind of videos and make sure you are subscribing your brother's channel let's meet in the second part